unfortunate, unfortunate end. It was only lap three. Uh, what did you see from your uh, vantage point? Gus thought he was clear, and he was not clear. Definitely not clear. I mean, I mean, there's been a lot of that tonight in the truck race and here, and you were involved. I didn't see any of that. I mean, the truck race people were aggressive, but nobody just cleared themselves down. I mean, I did the entire truck race. People were very aggressive, but I don't know. I mean, Gus is supposed to have the most experience here. Um, he's supposed to be the veteran of the team, but. I don't know. I have no idea what he was doing. Um, it was a stupid move. Have you had a chance to talk to him yet? No, I've not talked to him, but it's just unfortunate because he took out Chris, our other teammate. We're both going full-time in the season. Gus is just pulling up for a couple of races because his dad is riding the truck, so it's just frustrating that he has a lack of respect for I mean, he wrecked a few other people. I was talking to one of the guys in the ambulance, and, I mean, everybody worked so hard to get here, so for him to do that on lap three, I don't, e I don't even know why he was going three wide. I mean, I don't know why he would leave me in the middle in the first place. It's a different conversation, but... I don't know. Do you think there will be a conversation at Venturini or after this or what? Yeah, I mean, I think we're going to have some more races with him. I'm definitely not going to help him out again. Um, I mean, I'm going to still have respect for him on the track because he's my teammate and he's in a Venturini car and I want the best for our team, but it's just really, really frustrating. And I lost respect for him as a driver, but he is my teammate at the end of the day and he's in a Venturini car and I want our teams to succeed. Um, but it's just really disappointing what he did because I clearly doesn't have respect for any of us. And on the truck side, uh, I believe this is only your only scheduled start for Tricon at the moment. Uh, do you think there's going to be potential for more like last year? Yeah, I mean, I love the truck race. Um, it was very aggressive. I learned a lot. I felt really prepared going into the ARCA race. I was like, okay, cool. This is going to be, you know, a little more chill. Um, and like I said, like the truck race was chaotic. There was a lot of moving parts, a lot of moves being made, but nothing like that. Nothing, I mean, especially early on in the race, everyone was a lot smarter in that race. Um, that's probably why Gus was not in truck tonight. Thank you. Welcome to Race Face Digital, where you can buy, sell, collect, and trade digital MP4 racing cards of your favorite drivers. Receive a free five-card fan pack when you enroll for free at racefacedigital.com, the ultimate entertainment platform. This is Daniel Hemrick, driver of number 11, Collar Grace Chevrolet. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of those two videos beside me. Visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.